you too it's your boy cash coming at y'all with another video so yo in this video y'all seen the thumbnail so y'all already know what time it is you already know what time it is all right last night 360 jeezy and sir cruz they went live and the live was like four hours long you know what i'm saying but um i had the honors i had the honor and i had the pleasure of speaking to the one and only 360 Jeezy, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do a reaction to the conversation that me and him had on the phone. Y'all ain't gonna wanna miss this. Stay tuned. All right, YouTube, so we about to get into it, all right? <clears throat> I'm about to go ahead and do this reaction to the phone conversation that me and 360 GZ had, all right? Um, the live ended up being like four hours long. Of course, I'm not going to have a four-hour long video. I'm only going to have a snippet or a clip of the part where me and him was talking or whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Yeah. All right, so right now, I'm about to call in right now. So we about to get into it. I'm about to call right now. I'm taking you. I'm taking you. I'm really following you like that. Cause I knew the answer to that. Mm -hmm. Just made a video. Man. Nobody called me. Talk to me. Easy. What's good? What's good? Just cash the waiver, man. Cash the waiver. Yeah, man. You like like the goat, man. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not the goat. Sir Cruz is the goat. I learned all my information from from him. Yeah, I watched Sir Cruz too, man. Yeah, but you know, I don't really mess with him like that. You know, I don't like his attitude. You know, I don't like his attitude. At that point right there, when Sir Cruz started talking, right, I didn't catch what he was saying because I could hear the phone ringing in. And in the video, y'all not going to be able to hear everything because... People was trying to come in through the line and it kept beeping and beeping. So it was beeping out some of the conversation or some of the words that was being said between me and 360 Jeezy. But um, because I called for 360 Jeezy, so Cruz felt like um, like when I told him, I told, I, told, <clears throat> I told 360 Jeezy, I was like, yo, you the GOAT, man. And those I don't know what the GOAT is, the greatest of all time. You know what I'm saying? Because he got in the wave game. And he was watching, like he said, he was watching Sir Cruz. Sir Cruz just about to hit 100,000 subs. 360 Jeezy got 1.2 mil. You know what I'm saying? So 360 Jeezy let everybody know that it's possible to hit a million subs. You know what I'm saying? Off of waves and haircuts and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So I really feel like 360 Jeezy is the greatest of all time because there's no waiver on YouTube that has the amount of subscribers that... 360 GZ has on top of that not even just a subscriber count he has wonderful content you know what I'm saying and he's really been consistent and he's been doing his thing you know what I'm saying but um let's get and get back into the video I don't really like how he's becoming at people that's the only thing you're like my attitude nah <laughs> nah he was saying you don't like his attitude that's why you don't really be following him like that see I thought he had said he ain't like my attitude that's but he was just, y'all see what's going on. Yo, it's a cruise, man. Like I said, you cool, man. You cool, you know what I'm saying? But you do be flipping out on your subs and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And I be peeping how, you know, how you be, how, how you just be kicking back, you know what I'm saying? And, um, nah, I ain't for all of that, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I like keeping good energy and stuff like that, too. But, um, don't, don't get it twisted, because I can get aggressive and I can, you know, snap back and shit, too, you know what I'm saying? But I'm all about positivity and I'm all about networking and I'm all about, you know what I'm saying, building relationships with fellow waivers and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So... But no bad blood or nothing like that. You cool, man. I would love to link up with you one day if you're willing or whatever. But yeah, man, I just wanted to you know, show y'all some love, man, because I'm a 
Trump or Ben. I've been watching since like probably 2011. 2011. I, I wasn't even there. Come on, see, I know all the facts. <laughs> I got the facts all wrong. I was watching in 2011. No, I wasn't. No, yeah, I was. Yeah, I was. I was watching in 2011. 2013. 2013. I don't think either. I, I just had. I know all the facts. All right, hold. On. Let me pause. Cause I said I've been watching Jeezy since like 2011, right? But you know how, like, kind of like with music, you always like when a certain song come out of something, you relate it to a certain part of your life. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, there was a time I had moved to Texas and I believe that was around 2011. I moved to Texas and, um, I was in Texas for two years and, um, I started watching 360 Jeezy while I was in Texas. So that's why I said 2011, cause that's when I had moved to Texas. But because I was there two years, I ended up catching Jeezy around 13, right? So he laughing, he joking it up or whatever. So today I was like, let me go check and see exactly when Jeezy came out or when he started doing videos. And um, one of the first videos that I seen of his, when I scrolled through his um, through his channel, was 2013. So I'm like, all right, I know it wasn't too far off. I mean, I was two years off initially, saying 2011. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I was relating it to the time that I had moved to Texas because I knew when I started watching 360 Jeezy, I lived in Texas at the time. But it was actually 2013, so I was right about that. All right, but let's keep going. Hey, all that, all that is just to get you guys to brush, man. That's all it is. It was to get you guys to brush your hair. So don't like read into it too much. Yeah, I don't read into it too much, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I can see, you know, my content and stuff too. You know right. what I'm saying? But I learned a lot of my business from it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I watch TV, I watch everybody else's stuff, like that. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
or copy poppy blasted or any coarse hair waver or straight hair waver when i don't have that hair texture i mean i'll watch them and like i said i have watched them for entertainment purposes or maybe they'll drop some knowledge or some information that i might be able to use with my hair or whatever the case may be but at the end of the day yo jeezy had my focus and had my attention hands down and ain't nobody clout chasing ain't nobody dick riding so for all y'all that's gonna be in the comments tomorrow all the nigga cashes Yo, on Jeezy, nah, I ain't even like that. I ain't even that kind of dude. But I do give respect and I give props to the people that, that did it and salute to the person that helped me to get where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, let's get ahead because he about to ask me a question. So, let's get ahead and go with that. When you were watching me, did you feel at any moment in time, at any point when you were watching it, did you feel like I was corny? Nah. No? Nah. Nah. Not not any any time, not not one moment, not one video. Did you think not I was playing? Not one not one? I I I, I was looking at some of your comments, stuff like that, and I something people be saying. And I was like, man, they be trying to clown G they come form, but as a YouTuber my I that you know, I, I experienced the hate, I see where the hate comes from, I you know, and it just comes with, it's a part of the territory. But right. I think because of your personality, that's why how you blew up the way that you did, that's why you are where you are. Right. The haters is always going to be there, but the people, because people can see the real from the fake, right. genuine with yours, you right. know what I'm saying? I slick think that he was trying to promote your channel. <laughs> nah, man, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to promote my channel, man. I'm just trying to get you out some props. What's your channel, then? You some props. What's your channel? Cash the Waver. Cash the Waver. Everybody, check out Cash the Waver, man. Appreciate him for calling in. But, uh, gotta see you the block, see you the block city. <laughs> there you go. Let me pause it again. Let me pause it. All right. So, one, Jeezy, I want you to know that I appreciate you allowing me to, you know, call out my channel and stuff on the live. You know what I'm saying? Even though it was the cruise live and y'all was kind of like doing a joint collab thing, answering, you know, questions for waivers and stuff like that. I appreciate that. But that ain't why I called. I didn't call to promote my channel. I didn't do that for the like clout chasing and none of that kind of stuff. I'm not even doing this video on no clout chasing. I honestly, I ain't going to say look up to you because I'm actually older than you. But I admire the fact of like your movement, man. I, I admire the fact of what you did and the steps you took and how you progressed and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So low key i was actually excited to, to to um talk to you on the phone man because i've been watching you for so long you know what i'm saying and um it was cool man because i when you go live when gz go live on instagram facebook or even on youtube and stuff like that if i catch it or if i see it i try to jump on the live you know what i'm saying but a lot of times when i get on the live it'll be so many people on there and the comments just be going through and I'll be trying to get a comment in or a comment, but it'll get overlooked or he won't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of times that Jeezy went live and I jumped on the live and he never acknowledged me. You know what I'm saying? And low key, I ain't going to lie. I kind of felt some kind of way about that. You know what I'm saying? I did. I kind of felt some kind of way about that. Because I was like, damn, man, I've been following this dude from like 2013, man. And he go live and I just, you know, trying to give him props, trying to holler at him. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, all I wanted to be was acknowledged. The fact that you saw my comment. You know what I'm saying? So, to finally, it took me five years to get your attention, bro. Five years. You know what I'm saying? But now you know who Cash the Waver is. You know what I'm saying? Even if you know who Cash the Waver is. You know what I'm saying? So, that's cool. And I made sure of that because I caught back again. You feel me? But um, right here at the end of this, at the end of this first phone call, see, this is where some, Sir Cruz is rubbing off on him and shit because he's up here telling me, Oh, yeah, I'm about to send you to Block City. But I ain't let him Block City me, all right? I sat up there and was like, nah, one. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, be good, man. So now, up, man? I'm going to go ahead and speed up to the next phone call. I'm going to pause this. The next one was at about um, at an hour and 51 minutes or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and scroll up to that. I think that was me calling in. But right now, they was going back and forth between Sucru's cell phone and the Velocity Cuts uh, landline. You know what I'm saying? They was going back and forth. Jeezy was using a barbershop phone, so Cruz was using his other cell phone or whatever. How did you end up on this channel, then? Nah, Akon, y'all met you had just talked to him. I just had 152. Yeah, I'm probably about to come in right now. I'll see you right now. No, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, my damn shoulder hurt. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
And I don't know if he was serious. I don't know if that was true or whatever the case may be. But if it was, so what? You know what I'm saying? And I told him, I well, y'all going to hear the part where I said, but I'm like, if he charged $200, I'm willing to pay that $200. Because, you know, honestly, I look at him like a celebrity and I've seen all his work. Like, he's posting haircuts almost every day. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't seen a bad haircut yet. So, I would be willing to pay the 200 if that's really what you charge. You know what I'm saying? But, um... On top of having to book a flight or the plane to pay for the plane, to pay for a room to stay out there, you know what I'm saying? So just to get a haircut by 360 Jeezy, I'll probably be looking at spending like close to a stack, you know what I'm saying? And that's not necessarily on him, but that's between, you know what I'm saying, the travel, you know what I'm saying? So, but it is what it is. The yeah, so I told my I'll call in and, and um, holler at his uncle. You know what I'm saying? And uh, get everything set up. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to close all of this out real quick. All of y'all. There you go. Let me stop it. Yeah, man. So that was the co phone conversation that I had with 360 Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? So low key, I was um, I was I was psyched, man. I, I, I was psyched. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate um getting those two phone calls in i appreciate him acknowledging me and now he knows my name you know what i'm saying and um we're gonna get that haircut set up you're gonna see your boy at velocity cuts 360 g's is gonna end up dropping the video i don't know when i don't know when all right but it will happen it will happen all right but um yeah so this is my reaction to my own conversation with 360 gz man I hope y'all liked it. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? And yo, check out this new Wavers Anonymous. We got the Royal Blue, baby. The Royal Blue. Wavers Anonymous with the logo. You feel me? So, new Royal Blue shirt. We got the yellow and black shirt that just dropped with the yellow and black hat, man. Go copy some of the Wavers Anonymous. I appreciate everybody who's been purchasing the Wavers Anonymous. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. It's your boy Cash. Peace.